The Allen County Li Public Library is celebrating Black History Month with a few programs you can check out. Joining us to give us more details is Allen County Public Library's Director of Communications, yeah. Stephanie Smith. Stephanie, thanks so much for being here with us this morning. Good morning. All right, so what is the library doing to honor and pay tribute to Black History Month? A lot. Okay. So first of all, of course, we're a library. We have mm -hmm. books, a lot of books, and so we have developed this reading recommendation guide for Black History Month. So everything from picture books for our youngest readers to fiction, nonfiction choices for kids, teens, and adults. So you can pick this up at a branch or it's also available on our website. Is there programming as well that you guys have planned? There is. So there's a virtual programming and a couple in-person programs. So of course we have the Genealogy Center at our library. It's internationally known. Mm -hmm. And so they are doing a lot of programming this month around helping people find their history. Um, you know, African-American genealogy research can get very complicated. Um, so we have one of the best collections in the country. So they're having a mm -hmm. lot of programs. Um, you can also find those on our YouTube channel. And so just come check those out if you want to get your toes in the water for that. Um, but then also today and next Saturday, you can go to our Pontiac branch from 10 to 11, and they're hosting a free breakfast. And this is a commemoration of the free breakfast for the community that the Black Panthers started in 1969. So come out get some great food and learn a little bit more about the Black Panthers and their role in African American history. Tell us more about the pictures on display at the main library's youth departments. Oh gosh, so come down to the main library in our children's services department, the teens department. We have this really amazing um, collection on loan to us from the Fort Wayne Museum of Art. It is uh, just this whole series of photos of afros. So mm. taken by a photographer in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. So these amazing images, but then also the hair stories uh, for each image talking about the importance of natural hair and its role in culture uh, in African-American society. Very so it's cool. very cool. Yeah, that's very cool. What about, uh, will the library be turning returning to in-person programming anytime soon? You know, we, we sort of edged out there in the <laughs> fall and then Omicron yeah. hit and we had to stop the in-person mm -hmm. programming. March 1st, we're gonna give it another go. Okay. So we'll have those program guides available through our social media and our website, but everything from story time to adult programs in person, we're really excited to get back to that again. Is there anything people need to know ahead of in-person programming coming back? Anything new people might be excited about? Yeah, we are requiring registration just okay. to make sure that we can maintain smaller crowd sizes, social distancing, and then also if we have to cancel for some reason, we can notify people of that. So definitely register ahead of time. All right.